You may now begin your presentation. Hi, my name is Park Chan Jae. Hello, I'm Kwon Seung Hyun. Good morning, my name is Song Soo Wan. Nice to meet you, I'm Kim Ji Won. Honorable chairs and fellows, my name is Kim Yoo Hyun. This presentation slides are designed by Kim Jin Tae, Sang Hyun Bin, and Lee Sun Mi. Now, we will begin our presentation. There are some people who need help. How can we help them? Small theaters, they just need small amount of money to make the next play. Immigrant women, they need social networks to feel comfortable. The homeless, they need a job to feel themselves valuable. How can you help them? Opportunity, just with one opportunity, they can change their lives. For the next 23 minutes, we'll give you a presentation on how we have created new opportunities for them. Now, we'll begin with our first project, creating the new opportunities for the small theaters. In Tanglo, many small theaters are in serious problem. The number of audiences sharply declined. The small theaters want to continue their play, but financial problems are blocking their opportunities to prepare the next play. So, us. Streaming to Culture was launched in 2007 under the mission of revitalizing Diablo. We strive to provide new opportunities to the small theaters. For the past five years, there are a number of difficulties, but it never stopped. We try to find new opportunities continuously. Based on previous success and failures, we started a new program. By recruiting students, we try to give an opportunity to more small theaters. In this year, we worked with MJ Planet and AP Tori, the small theaters in Diablo. As a result, they together have generated sales revenue of 97 million won. Even after giving enough wages, surprisingly, 4.8 million won remained as a net profit. With this money, they could have an opportunity to prepare the next play. The thing that brought this change is promotion strategy. Based on the survey, most audiences depend on the internet and word of mouth in choosing which play to watch. And these media are affected by efficient promotion. Naturally, effective promotion attracts more audiences and makes more profit. However, small theaters couldn't invest their time and labor forces into promotion activities due to the lack of money. All they did was use of posters and flyers regardless of play's characteristic. For this reason, the previous play of MJ Planet, Flying Ackman, made a loss of 450,000 won. Even though the play was known for its high quality, they couldn't attract many audiences. So, they lose their self-confidence and couldn't afford to prepare the next play. So this is where our side team comes in. We could solve the problems of small theaters through providing promotional activities by students. We believe that the regular small theaters promotion activities can be prepared by our program. We recruited students who are interested in art management. They were sensitive to the latest trend and are familiar with social network service. In addition, we distributed press release to many media. Many people got to know more about our play. Also, we reinforced offline promotion. Since the previous flyers were easily thrown away, we made card-sized flyers with discount coupon. This coupon offered various discount to the specific customers. Due to this coupon, people didn't throw away the flyers and came to see the play. In addition to online and offline promotion, we invited the original writers fan club to the play. AP Tourist play Castella was written by famous writer Pang Mingyu. Invited fans were satisfied and began to encourage their intimate to watch the play. Moreover, AP Tori was sponsored books by online bookstore Aladdin. Then, by selling them, AP Tori made an extra profit. All these activities are basic, but essential in terms of promoting the play. The small theaters had never implemented before. 
but with our psych team, they got to perform these promotions. As a result, the seat occupation rate has increased by 80%, which is higher than the average seat occupation rate in Download. MJ Planet's next play, Looking for Bentley, made a net profit of 2.7 million won. And also, AP Tourist's first play, Castera, made a net profit of 2.1 million won. Digital Leisure brought three big changes to them. First, the proper 4.8 million means the opportunity to prepare the next play. Second, by performing in front of many audiences, they can recover their confidence and passion. Third, they hired three students as promoters. It means they realized the importance of promotion. They got to learn know-how to promote themselves efficiently. As a result of all these three changes, the small theaters have obtained an opportunity to make their dreams come true. And now, they are managing their place very successfully. Based on this success, we expand our program to more small theaters. To do so, we have made partnership with Korean Small Theater Association. It makes it easier to connect with side team and more small theaters. Through this process, the more small theaters could attract more audiences and make sustainable profit. Until Download is revitalized, we stream into culture. We keep on making opportunities. Creating the new opportunities for the immigrant women. Project Mamma Mia. A new life. This is a very precious and a heart-pounding moment. At this moment, more delicate care and concern for mothers are needed at any cost. Mothers experience depression and emotional instability without it. In our society, there are some mothers who don't get to receive the care, especially immigrant women due to cultural differences and language. What can we do? How can we help? Nowadays, more and more immigrant women are moving into Korea. In 2010, the number of international marriage has increased by 3.7% compared to the data previous year. And accordingly, the birth rate has increased by 6.8%. While birth rate was on an increase, still, there isn't any sufficient care for these women. So based on this analysis, begin a new project to meet the needs of immigrant women we designed a postnatal care business model, so-called sanuduri, in which both mothers and caregivers can benefit from. The service matches mothers with caregivers of the same country. This will let mothers more comfortable at home and provide jobs for the caregivers. Caregivers in our business are in need of economic benefit. The average income of immigrant family is relatively low. Nearly 40% of immigrant women have monthly average income below the minimum cost of living. These women want to have professional careers as well as boost their self-esteem. Through our business model, we could satisfy the economic needs of immigrant women. Through our research, we found out that more than 10% of immigrant women in Korea reside in Suwon. We made judgment that there would be lots of demand, so we decided to find a new opportunity with them. In order to proceed our project, we made a partnership with Suwon Agamaji, considering their social mission and competencies. There, our four immigrant women who are willing to be a caregiver have learned about the basic postnatal care. After receiving the <coughs> education from the institution, all of them are ready to work. Before start our business, we try to make our model more solid by making networks with institutions in Suwon. We made brochures and promoted our business through various meetings. As a result, we obtained a network with 13 institutions, including four public health care centers. Through this process, a Japanese mom, Ayako, who was suffering from difficulties in postnatal care, knocked our door first. 
So we matched her with our Japanese caregiver, Ritsuko. Ritsuko visited Ayako's home for two weeks and accomplished her role as a caregiver. Now, we believe that we have given opportunities to both sides of immigrant women. From the view of immigrant mothers, they have given opportunities to receive emotional stability from caregivers of the same country. The Japanese mother, Ayako, was able to recover well, as if she was receiving the care in Japan. And also, in terms of immigrant caregivers, they have gained economic opportunity. They could earn money through the need of immigrant mothers. Litsuko, the caregiver, now has a professional career. She has earned 720,000 won for two weeks of service. For Litsuko, this was the first time earning money on her own since she moved to Korea. But what's more important is that she has not only earned money, but also has recovered her confidence and self-esteem. For the past few years, the numbers of immigrant women has been continuously increased. So these women are in need of new opportunities. In the future, our side team is going to expand our project constantly. As a first step, we're going to expand the range of nationalities of immigrant women. Moreover, we're going to expand the area of our project throughout Gangi region. It's going to be fulfilled by making agreements with Agamaji in different areas. Second, we are going to adopt the government subsidiary. With a small amount of payment, immigrant women in low income level would be able to access our care. The expansion of our project and the adoption of the government subsidiary will offer new opportunities for the immigrant women. Lastly, we are going to develop a higher quality postnatal education program. We are going to develop a culture focused program based on our previous know-how as well as an advice from experts. All of our future plans will be achieved with 20 million won that has been secured from the city of Suwon. Overall, through our project, immigrant women can have a sustainable job an easy approach to our business. Now, they are dreaming of a better life with new opportunities. Creating new opportunities for the homeless. Project Do Hands. Every year, over 300 homeless people die in Korea. In the fall of 2011, the homeless people were permanently expelled from Seoul Station. The winter was approaching and they were exposed to the harsh weather condition. What do you think about the homeless? You might think they are lazy and only liable. No one wants to trust, hire, or give them an opportunity. All they need is just a small opportunity. However, the prejudice against the homeless blocks their first step. By the end of this presentation, you may know the prejudice was wrong. This hanger, can you believe this eco-friendly hanger was produced by homeless people? One of them even designed the graphics on this hanger. Now, we are going to tell you the story, the story of how this hanger was created. In the beginning, our side team tried to communicate with homeless people in order to better understand them. We visited Seoul Station and homeless institutions. Through this process of six months, we could approach closer to their problems. What's the most needed to get out of the situation? The answer is an income from sustainable job. According to our survey, about 70% of homeless people are willing to work or already have a job but it's never easy for them to get a sustainable income because of these three biggest problems. First, homeless people are in low confidence. Second, they are generally low skilled. Third, even if they get a job, most of the jobs are temporary and limited. As to solve all these three problems, we did the following procedures. First, we figured out that a shelter and a delicate caring system are needed the most. 
So we made a partnership with one of the homeless institutions, Sojungan Saramdae. Fortunately, our partner was willing to get involved with our project even more. So Sojungan Saramdae decided to participate and design the business model with our side team together. While designing the business model together, our side team and our partner have concluded that we need to design a profitable business model that provides sustainable long-term job. Also, we thought that business model had to do simple work so that homeless people can participate easily. However, what business? As to solve this problem, we noticed that the use of iron hanger causes serious environmental problems. Iron hangers are widely used in many dry cleaners, but once they are buried under the ground, they are almost impossible to be recycled. So we thought that a recyclable hanger would not only solve the environmental problem, but also make a job for the homeless people through the simple assembly. This is the reason why we chose paper hanger as our business item. However, how do we make a profit from this paper hanger? Luckily, we could find one of our homeless people with special ability, Han jung a former graphic designer. We decided to use his working experiences in an advertisement company. He designed the advertisement and added them in the hangar. So through the cooperation with Mr. Han, we could finalize our business model, which is a new advertisement platform. Companies pay for advertising their brands, and the hangers are produced by the homeless people. Then the eco-friendly hangers are distributed to many dry cleaners for free. Finally, consumers receive these hangers at their houses for use. This is definitely a win-win model for all. According to our survey, a consumer sees an advertisement 30 times a month. And on average, three family members get to see it at home. This repeated exposure makes our advertisement much more memorable. This is three times more efficient than advertising on the newspaper. Along with this advertising effect, we also made a huge impact on the environment. First, our paper hanger replaced non-recyclable iron hangers. Our production of 8,400 hangers has replaced 252 kilograms of iron that could have been buried under the ground. Second, we designed our product to minimize the paper waste in the process of making our hangers. Third, the usage of paper hangers will initiate the spread of environmental consuming culture across our society. To promote this business, we use the power of social network service. 17 celebrities and politicians took a big role in our campaign. And through broadcasting and newspaper, we tried to inform to the general public what this hanger means for the homeless. We distributed not only paper hanger, but also offered an opportunity for the homeless. Also, we seriously consider the empowerment of our target audiences. Through this process, our homeless people will be fully independent at the end. First of all, the shelter will be provided by your partner, allowing homeless people to stay. Then, the homeless people staying in that shelter will participate in our eco-friendly hangar production. In the next step, they will learn social skills and economic knowledge being carried by a personal counselor and a mentor. We believe that the education will help them to join a society with confidence without our side team. Lastly, after a long time working, they are going to have two choices of career paths. First, be a regular worker in our business and conduct various roles such as managing and distribution. Second, get another career with this job experience, his reliability guaranteed by us. So far, we have obtained one advertising order and made a profit of 2.9 million won. This gave eight homeless people manual jobs. In particular, our target audience Han Jung-woo got a job as an advertisement designer. In total, nine homeless people got a job as, a, as our partner. This is not just an ordinary income. This is opportunity for the homeless people. <laughs>
이거 뭐 인도도 많이 안 맞지만 안 하고 있더라고 이제 시간은 다시 안 돌아오잖아 이렇게 안 돌아오는데 지금 계속 만나는 시간이 왔어 For the sustainability, we've made up a distribution channel We have formed a network called Dry Cleaners for Hope Until now, 19 dry cleaners have joined this network and in the future, more and more dry cleaners will join this network. In spring of this year, our staff team was funded 32 million won by the government and a company. With this fund, we will establish a social enterprise. At the end, we are going to deploy more homeless people as our business expands. Until the homeless people stand by themselves, we will never stop. who need help. They just need one opportunity. With them, our staff team create matching program, postnatal care, environmental paper hanger. Three opportunities were born. Three people were be born. can change more people's life. We start create opportunities. Thank you very much, Team 3. We will now begin our question and answer period. Only judges may ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. 프로젝트 다 굉장히 성장성이 있어 보이는데요. 지금 하듯이 3년을 계속 이렇게 이 프로젝트를 도와준다면 3년 후에 어, 파이낸셜 임팩트와 소셜 임팩트가 어떻게 될 것인지 전망을 좀 해주시고 예를 들어서 그럴 때는 스케일이 달라져서 소극장 프로젝트가 똑같은 전략을 하면 전부 같은 전략을 광고 전략을 하면 경쟁이 안 되기 때문에 어떤 획기적인 이노베이션을 준비하고 있는지 그런 부분도 좀 설명해 주시면 좋겠습니다. 예, 우선 소극단 프로젝트에 관해 먼저 설명 드리겠습니다. 아, 말씀드릴 것 같이 어, 홍보만 가지고서 모든 문제를 해결할 수 없습니다. 따라서 저희는 어, 가장 근본적인 문제인 홍보를 먼저 해결한 후에 어, 하우스 매니징이라든지 혹은 회계 혹은 디자인 쪽으로 어, 학생들과 같이 협력을 해서 더 많은 프로젝트를 만들기 노력을 하고 있고 평균적으로 1년에 약 3, 4개 군대의 소극단과 함께 프로젝트를 진행하고 있습니다. 네, 그리고 프로젝트 맘마이아 같은 경우는 향후 3년간 저희는 지금 현재는 수원 아가마지하고만 파트너를 맺고 있지만 점차적으로 경기 모든 지역 아가마지 체인에 저희 파트너를 같이 맺어서 바, 어, 저희 유료 서비스뿐만 아니라 정부 바우처 산모 신생아 도우미를 이용한 바우처 서비스까지로 확장해서 향후 더 많은 다문화 여성분들이 서비스를 받도록 저희 지속 가능성을 유지할 예정입니다. 감사합니다. 예, 노숙인 프로젝트의 경우 어, 기관 관계자의 말에 따르면 한 노숙인 분이 자활하는 데까지 걸리는 평균 기간이 약 8년입니다. 따라 저희가 한 프로젝트로 시작을 했지만 어, 지금 가장 시급한 것이 바로 그 장기 지속성인데요. 그를 위해서 저희는 지금 사회적 기업 설립을 어, 이제 목표로 하고 있고요. 그래서 또 왔다 어, 거기에 필요한 자금들을 지금 펀딩 받은 상태입니다. 그래서 지금은 저희가 이렇게 옷걸이로 시작을 했지만 향후에 다양한 광고 플랫폼들로 제품을 계속 개발을 해서 어, 더 많은 지속 가능성을 이제 확보할 예정입니다. 이상입니다. 좋습니다. 소극장 프로젝트에 대해서 좀 말씀 어, 질문이 있는데요. 어, 이 올해 했던 게그 MJ 플래닛하고 AP 토리라는 극장을 선정을 했는데 어, 진행 과정을 보니까 2007년부터 지속적으로 해한, 해왔는데 그 여태까지 진행했던 지금까지 지원했던 극장들에 대해서 지금 올해도 새롭게 돼 있거든요. 그럼 지난 그런 지난해 아니면 그 전에 지원했던 그 극단들이 올해는 스스로 자력하고 그들 대상자 타겟 오디언스들이 그만큼 실제로 스스로 이렇게 자력해서 그런 어, 경쟁력이 될까 이런 것들이 성공하고 있는지 아니면은 어, 그게 지원하다 보니까 그분들이 좀 그에 그에 하나 한해 그냥 프로젝트로 하, 해서 
그냥 항상 매년 이 대, 타겟 대상들이 이렇게 바뀌는 건지 그점 설명을 해 주실래요? 어, 그, 어, 제가 대답 드리겠습니다. 일단 저희가 소극단을 선정을 하고 있지만 저희 성공 사례를 일단 말씀을 드리면 은 이전에 저희가 진행했던 피크라는 연구의 경우에는 현재 그 범위가 많이 늘어나서 1부 팀과 2부 팀으로 운영되고 있습니다. 그래서 점차적으로 저희가 거기에 대해서도 사업 관리를 하고 있는 실정이고요. 어, 그리고 두 번째 질문은 이제 네, 그리고 다른 경우에는 저, 저희가 같이 했던 합당세라는 극단은 저희가 함께 했던 그 매칭 프로그램을 통해서 인턴을 지속적으로 고용을 했고요. 그 결과로서 그 작품성은 인정받고 사람들에게서 좀 음, 그 사람, 어, 이제 관객들에게 많이 인지도를 알리게 됨으로써 어, 해외 연극제에도 출전하는 등 어, 지속적으로 발전을 하고 있는 것으로 저희가 확인하고 계속 사업 관리를 하고 있는 것입니다. 맘마미아 프로젝트에 대해서 어, 컨셉이 되게 좋은 것 같아서 인상 깊었습니다. 근데 어, 여러분들 프로젝트 하다 보면 외국에서 온 사람들 때 가장 중요한 문제는 아이들이 태어나고서 그 사람들이 교육, 또 친구들, 또 그들의 아까 인컴 이런 것들이 가장 더 근본적인 문제다라는 것을 인식하셨을 테고 프로페셔널한 조합을 만들어 주셨다 그러는데 사실 조금 컨빈싱이 안 되는 게 레벨도 다 다르고 언어도 다 다르고 그게 더 여러분들이 신경을 좀쓸수 있는 쪽이 아닐까 생각을 했는데 어, 굉장히 어려움이 많았습니까? 그쪽으로 몰고 가기에는 네 제가 대, 답변해 드리겠습니다 어, 저희가 산후관리사님들을 모집할 때 당시에는 일단은 저희는 일본인, 사, 일본인 관리사, 일본, 중국, 베트남, 필리핀을 대상으로 모집을 했었는데요. 사실 관리사님 모집하는 데 어려움이 있었던 건 사실입니다. 왜냐하면 언어도 굉장히 다르고 나이대도 어, 보통 담나 여성분들은 어린 나이에 오셔서 출산하신 경우가 많기 때문에 오히려 더 길게 한국에 적응하신 분들을 찾기가 좀 어려웠는데요. 저희는 일단은 지금은 첫 번째 산후관리사님 모집을 통해서 세 분의 일본인 관리사님을 확보한 상태고요. 앞으로 7월 말 이후에도 지금 현재 필리핀 관리사님들, 관리사님도 30대 후반에서 40대 초반의 필리핀 관리사님도 교육을 받고 싶으시다고 저희에게 의뢰를 한 상황이고요. 앞으로 이런 다양한 국가들의 확장을 통해서 더 많은 관리사님 뿐만 아니라 산모님들을 모집할 예정입니다. 감사합니다. 아, 시간이 되는지 모르겠지만 그 행어 프로젝트에서 보면 은그 광고를 내는 사람들의 반응은 어떻습니까? 간략하게 한번. 어, 현재 그 저희가 광고 부주들을 만나서 어, 이제 제안하는 것들은 바로 이 광고 효과인데요. 어, 기존의 친문 광고의 경우 어, 단일 이제 다른 광고들과 혼재돼 있고 그리고 또 이제 어, 일회성 광고이기 때문에 어, 그런 거에 비해서 저희 옷걸이 광고 같은 경우는 집으로 이제 직접 들어가는 광고이기 때문에 다양한 노출 효과와 또 그런 이제 어, 예, 단일 광고기 때문에 주목률이 굉장히 높습니다. 이런 점들을 어, 현재 지금 다양한 기업들과 컨택해 본 결과 예, 좋은 반응을 얻고 있고요. 저희가 시제품이 얼마 나온지 안 돼서 앞으로 재컨택할 때 예, 어, 확실한 또 반응을 알수 있을 것 같습니다. 자, 이제 마지막 질문입니다. 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 자, 이제 마지막 질문입니다